Anywho, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Well, prepare for trouble and make it double. That's right, guys. We're going to be going up against a lot of trainers right here because, uh, yeah, we are overachievers and we like to train our Pokemon a lot. Now, well, we're going to have to save those clothes for later on. We may have to switch it up a little. Let's go ahead and change the threads. As you probably remember, in the last episode, we got ourselves some new uh, gear. One of them being an assistance cap. So we're going to be going in as assistants for Professor Oak. Let's go right ahead. Look at that. Okay, and the pants. Look at that, the assistant. We're going to be going in an all white. Dripping in swag. That's right, look at that. Okay, and bags, of course. We're going to be going in as an assistant bag right here. And let's switch to, to Sparky. Let's have him do the whole assistant here. Look at that. He's got himself a new uh, new stuff. And then, uh, well, let's go with Midnight. Actually, hold on. Let's go with Black Frame Glasses. It's going to look a little bit more smarter like that. And uh, let's see. Assistant T. Look at that. You would never hit a person with uh, different stuff. And hold on just a sec. Okay. There we go. And bring her back. Look at that, she's changed. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Alright, let's do this. Go ahead and start to battle more people right here. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to your Pokemon if you want to make them strong. Okay. I think I did in the last few episodes. I, th I think I did, probably, I don't know. So here we go, we're going against uh, Camper Heart Carter. And he's coming with his uh, Psyduck right here, the Psyduck. And we're looking good in Assistant's uniform right here. So, here it is, a, 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 a two-on-one battle. Let's go with a drill run, and uh, let's go with a little bit of a, a slash attack right here. Here we go, a drill run for the win. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yes. Kicking ass. Oh, yes, we're kicking ass. Okay, and then, of course, slash does not do anything, but here we have a Doug Trio, and hopefully this guy does not use any kind of, like, ground-type moves, so... What we're gonna do is another drill run, and let's go ahead and finish this guy off with an ice punch. Probably the best thing we can do. So here we go, another drill run, and that takes care of that. Holy crud! Well, looks like Sand Slash didn't do anything. <laughs> Nothing at all, and we defeated Carter. Oh yes. Okay. Well, in our last episode, we were going through the first part of this whole route right here, guys, and yes. It's a nice long one, and uh, this is also a, so, uh, so we can actually get to the Future City Gym Leader with a good enough level. I think we may have overdone it just maybe a tad bit, but who cares? I mean, I am an overachiever. I do like overachieving, so hey, you know, let's go ahead. Let's do this. So let's go ahead and take on this flare on a two-on-one battle. It looks like to me it's just going to be one drill run, so instead of wasting a move, I'm going to go straight for the Swords Dance right here. So, let's go. Drill Run does its trick. No more Flareon. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Getting levels. Getting, uh... This guy's getting wrecked and all that crud. Yeah, we are doing, uh... An awesome job right here. So, let's go right ahead and just move on and battle some more trainers. He's gonna look at us. He's gonna be like, What are you looking at? You kind of looked at me first, so... I don't know. I was looking at something anything maybe just one thing so here we go punk guy Jared wants the battle and well he is coming out with his gold bat and here's a sad part like now there are, gold bat of course is one of the Pokemon that you can actually evolve through through happiness at the gold bat stage here you can't do that because well Johto Pokemon do not exist within this game now there have been rumors about the next Pokemon Let's Go games coming out, like Let's Go Entei, Let's Go Raikou, Raikou, uh, fuck it, I don't even know, and, uh, well, that, that's just to, uh, I guess bring in the Johto Pokemon and all that crud, because if there's one thing that we have learned from, uh, you know, exchanging Pokemon from our Pokemon Go accounts is that, yeah, we, we do, we cannot... We cannot uh, put Pokemon from the Johto region in uh, in this game. None. And I'm trying to look for some spot, like something right here. And wow, how inconvenient is this? 
Right here. Oh wow, can't even get anything. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna move on. So let's move on right here. Don't do Route 13. And well, there's gonna be somebody right there. So that's a dick way of doing things. So let's see if we can go into the back part right here. And it looks like to me we can. Look at that. Okay. Now, why do I have my second person with me? And that's very simple, guys. Uh, it just makes the battles a little bit quicker, hopefully. And look at that. We found ourselves a full heal. Definitely useful. And, you know, we, we, we can actually finish this whole thing a little bit quicker. Just a little bit. So here we go. Camper Perry wants the battle. And he'll be coming out with his Growlithe. No biggie. Growlithe looks like an easy Pokemon just to defeat. And Sandslash coming out. Looking like a beast. Really do like this Sand Slash. Really do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go with the Swords Dance because it, you know, it won't attack or anything like that. So anywho, yep, last episode I kinda wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, and I did. And I'm talking to you guys right now again a little bit more. Uh let's see. Any news? Well, uh a little bit of an update for the next walkthrough that I may do after Pokemon X. Uh, let's see, as of right now, as I'm recording this, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, we are probably at episode 30, or yeah, yeah, as I'm recording this, yeah, we are at episode 30, and believe it or not, we are close to being done not a lot of stuff is uh, being put in Pokemon X, except for like maybe a look or jo a journey or something like that. Uh, like a month ago, I did explain to you guys the little situation that went on with Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that is that uh, the whole internet process, the whole internet recording process, is a little bit difficult because their settings is just a little bit different from uh, you know the regular Oraz and Pokemon X uh, settings. And I did give you guys the option of uh, picking the next Pokemon game. I did want to go in chronolo uh, chronological order, meaning, you know, going from region to region, just kind of like Ash did, but that kind of looks like it might not happen, so I did give you the option of going ahead and going to Pokemon Sword and Shield, or, you know, you know, recording, uh, recording it in the ghetto way, and you guys voted for Pokemon Sword and Shield, so that is more than likely going to happen. After I'm done with Pokemon X, uh, trust me guys, it's probably going to happen since, you know, we've been getting walkthroughs done like quickly. So, keep an eye out for that one. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? I did mention something about Pokemon Coliseum, that that might be a post-con game. So, if you guys have any suggestions for any kind of other walkthrough games that, you know, that could be out there. Please, no hack games, because, trust me guys, uh, the last hack game I did was very, very long, and I got really, really angry real quick. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for any other Pokemon games you would like to see here, just comment down below. That way I can put that on the list and see if I can actually put that out there as quickly as possible for you guys. In the meantime, just enjoy what I got daily, and, uh, well, you know, let the... Let, 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 just, you know, enjoy it and all that stuff. Don't really have much much to say about that. And look at that. My Pokemon are growing like crazy. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so we defeated this person right here. And, well, let's see. There's gonna be no no items right there. So let's go right ahead and see what this says. Trainer tips. Sort of uh, the items in your bag by using the Y button. You can filter your TMs too. It's really handy. Yeah, that is true. And, well, if you go right here, there will be a person waiting for you. So just go ahead and chop that down. And, well, here he is uh, looking at you dead in your eyes. Have a battle with me in this hidden place. Hmm. We will. I guess we will. Okay. So here we go. Another Pokemon battle. And it's against... I forgot his, his name. Didn't even see it. But it might be Kip or Kit or Kit or something. I don't even know. So look at that, Sand Slash and Thra or Smasher right here, and well, let's go ahead and use that Drill Run, and more than likely, a Sword Stand will actually work, so... Oh, wow! Oh, crud! So, that was kind of a... Uh... Yeah, that was not the right thing, and here comes a Stealth Rock. Ah, oh, Gravy. 
Yeah, the stones are going to be floating, and switching out a Pokemon is it might be dangerous. So we're going to we're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. So let's go with a drill run, and here it is, successful. Graveler defeated. Oh yes, look at that. And well, let's see. Anything else? Yes, we missed the ice punch. So here comes a Magneton. And we do have the right move for this guy. So let's go ahead and use that Fire Punch. And, well, uh, let's go with a Slash, just in case. So here we go. Sla or Fire Punch does the trick. And here comes a Power Up Slash Attack. Finishes off that Magneton. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And Sand Slash grows to level 48. Yeah. Okay. All righty. And, well, Pokemon are growing levels now. He's going to be coming out with a Haunter right here. Alrighty. Let's go... Eh, let's go with a Fire Punch. And let's go with a Fire Ice. Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Let's go. Fire and Ice. Here we go. Fire. And here comes the Ice. Oh, crud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's it going to? And it's going to our Smasher right here. Crud Baskets. Here comes Ice. Okay, look at that. No more Haunter. Okay, and a Kite has been defeated. And we get some extra Pokeballs right here, or Ultra Balls. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Of course, there's going to be Pokemon. And there is an item right there. We're just going to make sure that that Gloom doesn't hit us. And there it is. We got ourselves an Ultra, or a PP up right there. Again, you will be able to find chances around here, so if you guys want to grow your Pokemon's level a little bit further and a little bit quicker, yes, go get yourself a Chansey. And, well, let's go ahead and switch up our team now. Let's go ahead and use Leonardo and Dragonair right here. Okay. Let's see what you got. Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. Alrighty, okay. Okay. Now, there is something that I wanted to talk about, too, about Pokemon Coliseum. Now, I've never played the game before until I actually bought it. Trust me, guys, I, I was one of those people. I was actually one of those people just doing nothing but spending money when it comes to this whole pandemic thing. It re I really was. And one of the things that I did was spend some money on a GameCube and on a Pokemon, po Pokemon Coliseum uh, game. And... As far as I'm concerned, it's all about double battles. All of it, and oh man, it gets it gets real frustrating because your two main Pokemon are Espeon and an Ombreon. And the stronger of the two is Espeon. And yeah. <laughs> you really can't do much, especially with the Pokemon that you have to actually I guess rehabilitate or purify and all that stuff. So Kind of got the jib of it. It's very, it's a very fun game. The only thing is, that it's like uh, sometimes the double battles just to last a little too long. So to me, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like we're, we're gonna ha we're in for a long adventure when we get to Pokemon Coliseum right here. And like I mentioned before, it might be a postcom. So that's a lot of work, guys. Just a lot of work. And uh, well, here we have a Scyther. All right. It looks like to me we're going to scald them. And it is a flying type Pokemon, so uh, it never hurts to just shock the Pokemon right here. So here we go. Thunderbolt does its trick. Oh, crud baskets. And yeah, it is faster than my Leonardo, but guess what? Here comes the Scald Attack. Oh, yes. Scald Attack does its trick. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a pincer. Okay. I don't think you can get Pinsir here. I could be wrong. I don't know. So let's go again with another Scald attack. And let's go with... Look at me. Just like... <laughs> just like... This is going to be an easy battle. Alrighty. Dragon Rage. Some pretty rare Pokemon being used right now. So here we go. Water or Scald. Of flaming Skull... Or Flaming Water of Doom. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And there goes Milo. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so let us continue. I think we've already done this whole place right here. So now it's going into the next route right here, going into this bridge. And again, there are some pretty cool Pokemon that you can actually find right there. And 
Well, another thing too is that you can surf now and those Pokemon will be popping out of nowhere, so be aware of that. I will be capturing some of those Pokemon off screen. I'm gonna be doing a lot of reorganizing with my Pokemon in, uh, in, in the box and everything. So here we go, another Sand True, and it looks like to me it's gonna be an easy battle right here. So again, another Scald. And well, let's go with a Headbutt, you know, just for shits and giggles and all that stuff. And wow, it protected itself. Man, why would you do that? Look at that. It protected itself. Here we go again. Double hits didn't really work right there. Alrighty, okay. So let's go do this. Headbutt. And good gravy. Another protect. You see, if protect worked every single time, it would probably be like the most invincible Pokemon. It would be unfair. unfair but I can see why it would work right here in this, uh, in this kind of situation. So let's go headbutt. And here we go with a Scald Attack. And there goes that Sandshrew. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. We got more experience points. Kiri comes out with another Sand Slash. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Scald Attack right here. And let's finish this guy off with a Dragon Rage just in case. Look at that. Double the attack. Here comes the Scald. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to have a very good team by the time this Pokemon evolves, so... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> defeated you. Okay, Camper Nash has been defeated. Yeah, we're stocking up on all these items that we needed, and, well... Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. I'm told I'm a good for a kid. I'm good for a kid. Probably. But, yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh... Yeah, like, Pokemon Coliseum looks like... It's going to be an interesting walkthrough. I just don't know when it's going to be coming out. Mainly because if it is going to be a postcom, it's not just the recording, but it's also the voiceover. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough, a tough one. Now, why can't I do a live con with it? It is mainly because I'm actually using a, um, I'm using a, a, an external capture card right here. Now, many of you guys have been asking me, how do I do, record this? this game right here it's not an emulator it really isn't what I'm using is a hop Sentry HD 1080p video capture card you guys can find it on uh, on uh, eBay Amazon it costs for like 70 bucks I believe and uh, you know it's a very good capture card that's how I'm recording it doing Pokemon Coliseum on on this capture card it pretty much you know it takes in everything including the loud noises and that's Probably the main issue is that me doing the voiceover during, like me doing a live com for Pokemon Coliseum, you won't be able to hear my voice as clearly as you are right now. So that's probably the issue. And uh, well, I may or may not be buying another capture card. I don't know. I'm just thinking it over. Or shoot, I'm just right now. I'm just thinking out loud. And well, we can go up to the uh, bridge right here. And there is another area right here where you can actually go to. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm actually going to uh, split this open and see if we can actually find an item. Let's see, split this open, and well, there is a Pokemon that I <laughs> don't want to go up against. And there is a Pokeball. Get the Pokeball, guy! Dang it! And we found ourselves a Max Lure, the first of its kind, right there. And if you guys haven't noticed, you can actually capture Farfetch in this location right here. And I'm going to walk away from this. Always walk away from a battle. Let's go right ahead and get this Farfetch'd. Oh, yeah. Now, I heard that you can actually... There is a Farfetch'd evolution in Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I'm actually anxious to, ca to, to, check, to check out. Damn it! There we go. Stay in the ball. Come on. Ah, damn you. Okay. Um, let's go to the bed. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Ah! There we go. Look at that. <laughs> he let go of his guard. Come on. Damn you, freaking far-fetched. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, hold on. Want to get to the gar, uh, get to the uh, farfish right here. So let's go ahead and use another berry right here. Throw that, and it was great. 
Come on. Stay in there. Come on. Yes. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm feeling good. Got myself a new Pokemon. Everybody's gaining levels. And look at that. A new Pokedex entry. They live where re uh, ready plants grow. Farfetch are rarely seen, so it's thought to be that their numbers are increasing. Yeah, they might... It might be extinct or something, or might be going extinct, but, you know, I can uh, always uh, make more, you know, through babies, that kind of stuff. I don't know. All right, so we got more Pokemon trainers right here, and it looks like we have a coach trainer, and, well, let's go right ahead and actually go with the mega team of, uh, what you want to call it, uh, Sparky and Mew de Uno, so let's go right ahead and move this Pokemon right here. And let's go right ahead and go for the battle. Training on a romantic bridge where you can smell the sea breeze doubles the effects of the training. Let's do some coaching. Are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Alrighty. So, here we go. Another Pokemon battle against Priya. And she will be coming out with her Butterfree. Oh, crud. Poor Butterfree. Poor, poor Butterfree. Doesn't have a chance. Oh, yeah. This po this Pikachu with the lab coat, oh yeah, it makes it a uh, it makes it a very very dangerous Pokemon right here. Not really, but you know, I'm just saying that, talking out of my butt. And here we go, Thunderbolt does it. Butterfree has been defeated. <laughs> and yeah, Pikachu showing its affection right there. Oh yeah, and well, there it is. Got everything, and Dark Pulse has not hit anybody. Here comes a Clefable. And remember, it is not a, f a normal type Pokemon anymore, so I'm going to go to Floaty Fall, and then I'm going to hit it with a, well, let's go with a fly. Screw it, let's go. Floaty Fall. Look at that. Oh, yes. The Uno. Oh, yes. And crap. Well, looks like my Pokemon goes to sleep right here. And, well, let's see. Gotta go with the bag. I'm actually gonna use up one of these items right here, so let's see. Let's go with the full heal. Go to Sparky, and Mew de Uno will actually finish this guy off right here. You forgot that there's another Pokemon up there. Look at this. Mew de Uno does its thing. Oh, yeah. This. Mew de Uno does its thing. Oh, yes. Another Pokemon with pink has defeated you. And, yes, sir. Look at that. Leonardo grows to level 47. And Priya has been defeated. Yeah, so what kind of move do we get? Such a romantic battle. Here, a token of my gratitude. We get ourselves TM59 Dream Eater. It only works when a Pokemon is asleep, but I assure you the effect is devastating, which is true because it will heal up your Pokemon. And, well, kind of to give nightmares and all that stuff to the other Pokemon. And, well, here we found an awakening. And, well... Let's go ahead and uh, get to this person right here. What's up? I'm searching for a Moonstone. Have you found one? Yes, I found plenty. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon trainer. Camper Justin wants the battle. And here comes its Nidoran. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so Mew de Uno. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Let's go with a Thunderbolt right here. And you do know you can sit back and watch, you know, stand by up in the sky. So here we go. Thunderbolt does its trick. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this 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 is easy. Easy battle right there. I should have started with these two Pokemon. So here goes Mewduino with a fly attack. And here comes that Nidorino. I wonder what's going to happen in the next move. You know what? Let's take that off and actually use another full heal and heal our Smasher right here. Of course, we're just toying with him right now. And here comes the fly attack. Look at that. Oh, Nidorino has survived and... Well, because we attacked it first. Yes, Mew de Uno has been poisoned. No worries. We got this. It's going to be okay. Watch this. Splishy Splash. I love that word. Splishy Splash. And, well, Side Wave doesn't hurt right here. So let's go. Let's get it. Somebody attack. Splishy Splash. Oh, yeah. It's on the surfboard. Suck it, Nidorino. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And look at that. Mew de Uno, welcome again to level 51 right here. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Justin has been defeated, and we get two more Great Balls right here. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and start healing our Pokemon yet again. Um, yeah, we gotta get more full restore, or four heals right here. And look at that. Everybody's healed, and now, let's go right ahead and uh, cut this open right here. So, let's go right ahead and cut this, and look at that. Okay, so we're getting attacked by this guy. He's gonna be like, electricity is my specialty, so I don't think it, I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea. Well, if you already knew that you're powerful, then I'm stronger. I don't know. So Rocker Luca wants the battle, and he is coming out with a tank of a Pokemon, Electabuzz, right here. So I'm, a, I'm in a little bit of uh, trouble right here. No worries, this is why we're called the Mega Team. Let's go right ahead and use that Dark Pulse now. Oh yeah, Mew has its eye on prize. And here we go with a double kick. That's one. That's two. And here's three Dark Pulse for the win. Oh yes. Look at that. And everybody gaining experience points. And Sand Slash grows to level 49. Luca has been defeated. And I get more money and more Pokeballs. While I'm at it. Alright, let's grab this. And here we have a Water Stone. Which is good. Very, very good. Now, let's move on right here. And there is a lonely man right here. Looking up at the sea. Hey, do you know about... Uh, do you know what catch combos are? Yep. If you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance at meeting a really strong one. Which I did. That's why I captured a buttload of Pikachus and all that stuff because, you know, I kind of wanted to complete my team, my second team that I came over here with. So here we are in a house, and, well, there is only one guy right here. You talk to him. Uh, I, I, who, am, who in the world am I? Bah, it's no use. I can't remember anything. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, do you think you could tell me who I might be? Yes, you are Mr. Dazzling. <laughs> Mr. Dazzling? That's such like a, a wonderful ring to it, Mr. Dazzling. You must be right, I'm Mr. Dazzling. Well, you help me remember. So here, we get ourselves the, th the TM32 Dazzling Gleam, a very good fairy-type move. And, of course, it says, Dazzling Gleam is a fairy-type move, something that's hard to find in Kanto. Which, you know what? Let's go ahead and teach that to... I want to I want to teach that to Mew because it looks like it could be the only one that can learn it and uh, I was correct okay so let's go ahead and take this give that to Mew and let's see I haven't used seismic toss a lot so I'm gonna be taking that out alrighty okay so we got our we got a Pokemon that knows a dazzling gleam alrighty so let's see read this book I guess no now, I do believe that this is the move to leader, too. You, you do have that choice or something like that. Alright, let's go back inside and see what happens right here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay. So, I do believe that that probably is Mr. the move to leader or something. I don't even know. Okay, so let's move on right here. Let's go ahead and actually battle this guy one last time and then finish it off with the rest of the team. What's biting? You never know what you could catch. Hmm. I could only know if you actually gave me a rod, but, you know, I don't have a rod at all, so whatever. So here we go, going up against that guy right there. And, well, let's go ahead and see. Let's see, Tentacool. No biggie. Let's go with a Thunderbolt right here. Mew de Uno. Let's go with a uh, Dazzly Gleam. I mean, you might not hit somebody, but it's going to be something. So here we go. Thunderbolt does its trick. Say goodbye to Tentacle. I feel good. Say goodbye. Alrighty. And, uh, well, more experience points for all of us. And here comes Kingler. Holy crud. It's a lot bigger when you're facing up against it. I do remember that episode in the Pokemon League where Ash's Krabby actually evolves into Kingler, which is pretty cool now I do remember one big thing about that uh, that whole uh, show 
was that it is illegal to have a Pokemon evolve during a battle, which is kind of like, okay, so how it is how is it illegal if evolving if evolving comes from them? Like it doesn't make like they can't control it. The only well, they can't control when they evolve, but when they evolve, they can't control on stopping it. So how could it, you know you know how could it be illegal? I'm just wondering. Alrighty, your partner sure is cute. Let's have a battle. Think about it, guys. How is it illegal for a Pokemon to evolve during a battle? Um, yeah, how is how is that illegal? I just want to know. Comment down below. Anywho, here we go. Going up against a Tangela, and we're going again with Mew de Uno and a Pikachu right here. Let's go with a little bit of a Floaty Fall, and still waiting to hit something. Still waiting to hit something with a Dazzling Gleam, so... Floaty Fall. Look at this. Floaty Fall takes his mark and hits the Tangela. Okay, alrighty. Oh my god. And uh, that's a buttload of points right there. And look at that. Smasher grows to level 49. And, well, he's coming out with an Onyx. So, you know, really, I could just beat this guy with just one Pokemon if I wanted to. And Crap Baskets, I picked the wrong move. Hold on. There we go. And God dang it! Hold on. Now all these Pokémon's levels are going down just a little bit, so I guess I'm getting close to where I need to be. Let's go, Dazzling Gleam. And look at that. Onyx has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. <laughs> okay, and uh, Dragonair finally grows to level 50. Five levels away from evolving now. There is a slight bit of an issue because now I think we did hit our cap for our Pokemon right here. So what's going to happen now is this is uh, it's very simple. We did hit our cap with uh, actually we did hit our cap with uh, Dragonair. It won't listen to us until we get a badge from Sabrina so I'm gonna give the last two rare candies to it so there we go give that and now we're three levels away from evolving and it's learning outrage which is a very very valuable move let's see 60 out of 90 this one right here is a thrash attack technique so let's go ahead and take that away and there we go, it learned Outrage, and while I'm at it, let's go right ahead and go to the Pokemon box now, and let's use somebody else right here. Now, off screen, I did evolve my Dubasaur into a Venusaur right here, it's final evolution, and well, let's see. For the last few battles, let's go right ahead and put Butkus back in. Let's add him to back to the party. Let's replace Dragonair right here. And as soon as Sand Slash grows to level 50, we're going to have to replace him too just because, well, obviously, uh, the, the cap. It's still a traded Pokemon. So let's move on right here. Like I said, guys, I am going to be tra training all my Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's move Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and put Buckus in at first and Mew de Uno on second right here. Alright, let's see what you got. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it's the best I had uh, more work. Ah, okay. So, here we go. Going up against Fisherman Elliot, and this guy looks like he's he's ready to rock and roll. So, here he comes out with a Gyarados. Good gravy. I picked the wrong, <laughs> picked the wrong Pokemon to switch this guy out with. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. It, it knows Outrage. And Mew de Uno, of course, can't cover him, so let's go ahead. Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam, and, oh, crap, Baskets. There's that Thrash Attack, and here comes my Thrash Attack, and there goes Gyarados. Okay, alrighty, so we're doing something right, and Butt Kiss, of course, will be growing levels, and here comes, oh, crud, really? Uh, Gravy, okay, so... <laughs> dark Pulse. Pretty much, Dark Pulse. Look at this. Okay, so, yeah, uh, Budkiss didn't really have to do much. <laughs> it really didn't. 
Okay, so Fisherman Elliot has been defeated. Wow. You know what? Okay, so... Let's not wait. I do have Aaliyah right here. So, let's go right ahead and put Aaliyah back into... Or, put Aaliyah into the team. And let's replace Sandslash since it is a uh, an evolved... Or a traded Pokemon. And now... Actually... It is... It is actually... Or actually, wrong Pokemon right here. It is appropriate. Now, the thing is, I will not evolve Aaliyah right here because... Uh, what was it? Yeah, I will not evolve Aaliyah because of... Uh, what was it? Uh... It, of course, it's my niece's Pokemon, and it will not, like, I, I, I will not evolve my, my niece's Pokemon. And you know what? Now that we're, you know, now that we're at a good level right here, let's go ahead and take away Mew de Uno. And let's put in the Raichu. That way, you know what? I can evolve these Pokemon. This guy right here ha does have some near-perfect stats, so... Eh, we're gonna be doing well. Let's see. And you know what? While we're at it... Screw it. Let's do both. <laughs> Screw it. Let's let's go with both Pikachu's right here. Twin Pikachu's ready to battle. And here we have a repel. And well, let's go ahead and use the twin Pikachu's. <laughs> this fishing fool versus Pokemon. Now we are at I guess we're like well leveled right here. So let's see how this works. We got Fisherman Hank. Oh jeez. Coming out with Magikarp, so here we go. Pikachu and P the other Pikachu named Raichu. So we got both male Pikachu and female Pikachu. We got Thunder Wave and of course Aaliyah does know Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt, so look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Thunderbolt! Yeah, not so yeah. <laughs> Okay, alrighty, and well, let's see, Raichu, of course, forgets it, and here we have a Sea King, so a much more formidable battle. This Pokemon's a little stronger, so we're going to just continue Thunderbolting everybody. And here comes a Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. And here comes a Horn Attack, and that was kind of strong, so here we go. Thunderbolt again, this guy, or this fish is fried. Yeah, buddy. Double team these Pokemon right here. Look at that. And here it comes out with a Poliwag. Okay. Let's do this. Same thing. Thunderbolt away. <laughs> now, the reason why I named this P the male Pikachu Raichu is because I will evolve it into Raichu eventually. And both these Pikachu do have, like, near-perfect stats. So it's, you know, that was all from combination catching. And, well, I kind of want to keep them together just so they can grow at the same pace and all that stuff so it is it is freaking cool right here so now let's go ahead and start uh, you know getting some medicine right here now we're struggling just a tad bit okay alrighty so let's move on right here and this is probably gonna be the first time using our ski uh, our sea skim right here and Look at that. We were on a surfboard, so now we're just going to get this, and here we have TM24 X Scissors. Very good, uh, very good, uh, what was it, bug type move. And look at that, we're on a freaking surfboard, which is freaking awesome. Oh, damn. Ah, crap, baskets. Okay, so we kind of screwed up just a tad bit. We did. <laughs> Fisherman Chip wants the battle, and he is coming out with a Poliwhirl right here. So, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's go right ahead and use Thunderbolt. Come on. <laughs> and that was it. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, look at that. And we beat Fisherman, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, so now that that happened, okay, let's go right ahead and uh, move these Pokemon right here. Let's go with Aaliyah. And actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Grab this. We found ourselves a lure. And go back up. So let's move on ahead right here. And let's be fair to Aaliyah. Let's battle this person. Yeah, I got a big one here. Okay. 
I don't like you, you don't like me, it's whatever, and you got one Pokemon, so he's gonna come out with a Staryu. Not a, not a hard battle, so let's go, Aaliyah. Okay, alrighty, Aaliyah doing her thing right here. Let's go with a Thunderbolt. Now she's going to be a little bit speedy, and of course... Yeah, you're gonna be evade, or you're gonna... Oh, crud, I'm evading my attacks right here, so this is gonna be bad. And here comes that Confuse Ray. Good God! Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on! Come on, Aaliyah! Damn you, freaking star you! Always screwing me over. And... Ah, oh, sheesh. Okay. We snapped out of confusion, but guess what? Thunderbolt all the way. Say goodbye to star you. <laughs> yeah. Lie down like a dog. Okay, so we got more Pokeballs right there, and... I think that's the end of our trip right here. We finally did it! Oh, crud. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. We're gonna be going up here, and we're gonna try and find what's up here. Uh, there's nothing too big right here except for this guy. A forgetful man lives at Route 12, or so I hear. And if you talk to this lady... My Pokemon's asses are resting at the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. And we get ourselves a TM50 Roost. That will actually heal your uh, flying type Pokemon. And right here, let's see, there's a man fishing. And if we go right here, that's the Pokemon Tower. Okay, so I guess we've reached our destination. It took us two parts and all that stuff in a X amount of minutes. And well, let's see, is there anybody here? Probably, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. North of Lavender Town. Let's see. If there's any items right here, that would be great. Nothing. Okay, so... I guess we've completed our, our episode right here, guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna fly back to Fuchsia City. Hey, what's up, Pikachu? Let's go ahead and go Skydash all the way back to Fuchsia City. And as you can see, we got a few places left to visit. We do have the tools necessary to go visit them, but we're going to wait on it because we still need to get more uh, badges and all that stuff. But here we are, guys, Fuchsia City. In the next episode, we will be going into the Fuchsia City gym. I think we've already uh, capped out our levels, but we kind of need to, you know, kind of need to battle these guys just to get another badge. So stay tuned, guys. In another episode, we will be getting our, what was it, fourth? our fifth badge right here in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.